his class reunion, did some comedy, and uh, the other night he went up at the, the rock and roll night, the music night they had here. And he's a good friend of mine. He comes up on my porch all the time and tells me jokes. A very funny guy. How about a hand? Don Taylor, how about a hand for him? Come on up here. He's got to be the tallest guy in the world now, right here. Well, in case anybody's wondering, uh, I'm four foot 31 inches tall. <laughs> I was so ugly when I was born that the, after the doctor slapped me, he slapped my mother. <laughs> this 90-year-old man uh, was in Walnut at Walmart and he dropped to the floor. He had a heart attack. So the manager rushed him to the nearest hospital, which happened to be a Catholic hospital run by nuns. So they did. They couldn't, you know, break his chest open. He was too old. So they, they found out all he needed was two stents. So he was in the recovery room and, and he w wakes up and there's a nun sitting next to him with a clipboard and a pen and she says, uh, can you hear me? He says, yes. He said, we have to go over how you can pay for this operation. Do you have medical coverage? No. Do you have a house? No. Do you have any money? No. Do you have any relatives that have money? No. All I have is a spinster sister and she's a nun. The sister didn't like that. She said, nuns aren't spinst spinsters, they're married to God. And the man says, perfect, send the bill to my brother-in-law. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Frank for letting me come up here. You know, it's, I appreciate it. Uh, little Timmy uh, asked the teacher, can a whale swallow a human? And the teacher said, no, Timmy, a whale can't swallow a human. And he said, well, my mother's been teaching me a few lessons at home about the Bible, and it said that Jonah was swallowed by the whale. And the teacher says, Johnny, they eat krill, shrimp, and plankton. They can't swallow a human. And he says, well, when I die and go, I go to heaven, I'm going to ask Jonah. And the nun said, well, what if when he died, he didn't go to heaven, he went to hell? And then Timmy says, well, then you can ask him. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Is that you? Uh, Mary and Martha, they like to go to the weekly Friday night bingo at the church. And Mary said to Martha, you got something sticking out of your ear. And she says, what? I can't hear you. She says, you got something sticking out of your ear. It looks like a suppository. So Martha takes it out and looks at it and goes, aha. I think you know where this is going, right? She said, now I know where my hearing aid went. <laughs> so so very good, Mary, very good. Mary goes in back of Martha. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> these these two gentlemen, they were 80, 80 years old, and they, they're walking on Moody Street. They were getting close to each other. They didn't know each other, and they were both dragging their foot. And when they got within speaking distance, one of the fellows said, I wonder if he's a veteran like I am. So he gets within voice, you know, and he says, Korea, 1951. And the other guy says, says, dog shit, 20 feet back. <laughs> My wife said, don't use that word. Uh, <laughs> this 95-year-old this lady goes into the doctor's office like this. Three minutes later, she comes out. She's walking like this. There was a man going in next. He was going to be next, and he saw her go in. He said, wow, that's amazing. What did the doctor do? She said, he gave me a longer cane. Uh, last, last September on a cruise ship, uh, we met a comedian, uh, Dan Heenan. Some of, the, some of the people here may know him. He's a fun, funny guy, and he's actually a great, great singer, too. He's, get this, he's five foot four and 250 pounds. He says when he stands, gets out of the shower, 
stands sideways with the full length mirror. He looks like the capital letter Q. <laughs> Two, two more. Uh, Sister Barbara was sitting in the second floor of the convent in the bedroom uh, reading a note from her folks. Just a shot note. And there was a hundred dollar bill. And she's right next to a window and she looks out and sees a, a, an older man down below, a little decrepit looking, leaning against the lamppost. So, uh, and, and in the note that she got, it was a hundred dollar bill. So she said, well, I'll, I'll write a little note. So she wrote a note, keep the faith, Sister Barbara puts a hundred dollar bill wraps it up, taps on the window, he looks up, she throws it out, he picks it up, smiles and walks away. The next day he comes back, rings the bell, said, I have to see Sister Barbara. So the, uh, the nun said, stay right here in the hall by the table. So Sister Barbara comes out and says, hello. And he says, hello. And he takes out a fistful of $100 bills. And Sister Barbara said, well, what's this? It's eight thousand dollars. Keep the faith come in and paid eighty to one. <laughs> I got uh, just just one more. I don't want to take it away from the professionals out here. So uh, the six-year-old brother and a four-year-old brother, they're just waking up Saturday morning, and they, they said, I think we're old enough to cuss. Why don't we why don't we when we get down to mummy ask us a question? Look at I'll say hell. And the younger boy, he said, you say ass. <laughs> so they go down for breakfast. And the uh, mother says uh, to the older boy, well, what would you like? He says, oh, what the hell? I'll have some Cheerios. So whack. <laughs> Up the stairs. Stay there until I call you. So she asked the young four-month-old, four what would you like? He says, well, you can bet your fat ass I'm not going to ask for Cheerios. <laughs> Thank you very much.